Star Wars changed my life. When I saw that, it was like a visual feast. I was just stunned that you could do those things visually. One of the nice things about the type of work I do is I get to work with the scientists, I get to work with the engineers, I get to ask them, so how does the parachute deploy, when does it deploy? I get to work with all types of people to get the animation accurate. You could divide the animations I do into three categories. One is for missions that haven't happened yet. The second type is when the mission is approved, you try and show all the different steps of the mission. You can do an animation showing the launch, you can show it escaping Earth's gravity, going towards its target. And the third type of animation I do is once the mission gets to their destination and they gather some data and then they send that back to Earth, you want to put that information in context for people to see and understand. Let's say I want to do an animation of a uh, lander that's on Mars. Basically you model the spacecraft in 3D so you have to pick parts of it like the legs or the arm and give it surfaces and then texture. Then if it has moving parts like wheels or an arm you have to rig it which means you have to explain to the computer program how the parts move. Then you have to actually light it so you have to figure out where's the sun, it can be night, day, so after lighting it, then you animate it, which is then you tell the arm, I want you to start here, go here, do your digging, and then come here. My message to future potential animators would be, if you want to do the type of animations that I'm doing, you have to have a good innate understanding of the three-dimensional world. You don't need to learn how to draw. That's 2D. Just get in there and start modeling things in 3D, but you have to be patient with software and hardware because there's a lot of hiccups that happen and you have to work through that. It also requires some good research skills. Be uh, really proficient in math, especially geometry, trigonometry, uh, and linear algebra. Those are important skills to have. When I'm making an animation, I fail constantly. I only have to get it right once. When I get it right once, I capture those frames, I'm done. Then I can show that complete successful animation a million times.